Okay, here's a graph of a parabola, and the question asks to determine or draw the reciprocal graph of this parabola. So the very first step is all your x-intercepts have become your vertical asymptotes. So I'm going to draw a dotted line to represent our vertical asymptotes. Oops. Like so, and one. So by vertical asymptote, we mean what we mean is uh, the curve cannot pass through the vertical asymptotes. And now, um, if you see this quadrant right here, the right of that vertical asymptote, everything is positive. And we know that uh, the invariant point lies at where y is equal to 1, so we'll kind of draw the graph like this. So, oops. that. And likewise, same for the left side. So we have where uh, y is equal to 1. I, I should have chose a graph that's a little bit wider. So here you go. And for the graph between the two asymptotes, well here y is equal to negative 4, so reciprocal of that is negative 1 fourth, which is about here. Oops, sorry, it's about here. And we have our invariant points at where y is equal to negative 1. So we'll draw the graph approaching the asymptotes, but, not, but never crossing it like this. And on the right side, like that. All right, so that's how you draw the reciprocal graph of a parabola by using no calculations and just by looking at the graph and just stating that your x-intercept, your original x-intercept becomes your vertical asymptotes and making sure that your invariant points, invariant points are at where y is equal to 1 and negative 1.